on a mission. I plan to go to all the oceans and explore vivid varieties of aquatic life and its features. That's our map. Now, there are five oceans on this planet. Let me show them to you. This one here is the Pacific Ocean. Can you see that? And this one, the Atlantic Ocean. There on the top, we have the Arctic Ocean. And this one here is our Indian Ocean. And our fifth ocean is the Southern Ocean, also known as the Antarctic Ocean. Now, these oceans are all filled with salt water. Fun fact! The Earth looks blue from space because approximately 71% of the Earth's surface is water. The oceans are the main reasons for this. But hey, other water bodies deserve credit too. What about the rivers and the lakes and the geysers and the waterfalls? What about all the water vapour floating around in the air? And there's more water underground too. And some ice in the mountains. They should be included too when you're talking about the hydrosphere. And yes, we are talking about the hydrosphere. All the water on Earth combined. How large would that be volume-wise? Let me do the math here. Okay, done. So that's one, two, six, zero, 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 zero. Ah, I can't do it. This number here. That's one sextillion, two hundred and sixty quintillion liters. Wow, that sounds like a lot. But how much is it exactly? But guess what? Out of all this water, almost ninety-seven percent of it is from the oceans, salty water. The remaining 3% is non-salty fresh water that we find in ice, rivers or under the ground. Most of all as ice. But that leaves very little for us, doesn't it? But then, how come we haven't run out of water to drink? There are so many of us on this planet and we all keep drinking water. And then there are the animals too. We should have run out of water a long time ago. Something doesn't add up. Well, it's time to tell you the story of water. Let's look at the water on the surface of the ocean. The sun's rays hit right into the water and the water heats up. As it heats up, small particles of water detach themselves from the ocean and fly away into the air. This is called evaporation. This water travels all the way up to the sky and over time cools down and starts forming little droplets of water. It's just like how water drops start forming on a cold water bottle if you leave it outside. Now this is called condensation. These clouds get heavier and heavier and eventually they give way to rain. All the water that went up now comes back down as rain or snow. This is called precipitation. This is how we never run out of water on Earth. This water isn't salty 
and it goes and fills up our rivers and lakes and ponds for us to drink. Or they find their way back to the oceans. Either way, all the water now is just waiting to be sucked up into the air again. And the cycle continues. The water cycle. Isn't it great? It's like the entire planet itself is recycling and reusing its water. And this is why we never run out of water to drink. It keeps getting regenerated. But that doesn't mean you can waste water though, okay? If you like this video and want to watch many many more amazing videos like these, like and subscribe to our channel now.